Okay, so we're live. Please tell me if you can hear me. Now, I know this is Super Mario 64, but there's a reason. I'm gonna go back over here. We hear you good. I really need to get a new capture card, like a non Elgato capture card that works with XSplit. Um, but I just don't have the money for it. And that sucks, because every, it's, it's like every single stream now, something goes wrong. Okay, so you guys can hear the sound perfectly. And now I can too. For whatever reason, the sound that it was giving me on my television, I had to raise the notch by like... 10, 10 points. I usually need it at like 6 volume on my television to hear, or 5 or 6 to hear okay without an echo. I had to set it to 14. So like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm gonna make it a little lower on your end. That's too low. But yeah, I really, I really need to get a new capture card, but I just can't, I can't afford it. And that sucks. Sometimes, like, you're able to pay for these things yourself through things that you do to get money, but I just don't make money. <laughs> and that sucks. That really sucks. Anyway. Let's actually start the game for really reals this time, now that I can hear it, now that you can hear it, and now that it's, <laughs> like, 20 minutes past stream time. Let's do this. Message speed, 5. We saw this part already. Triforce wants us to do something. If the stream goes down for whatever reason, just let me know in chat. We'll we'll just deal with it as we go. Worst comes to worst, I just pull out the emulator. I don't want to though. Anyway, wagon. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do here. Also, I realize there's no music here, really, because it's supposed to be quiet until you get over here, but that wasn't the problem before. Oh, your eyes have opened. Are you alright? I'm Impa, the troop's cook. And you are? Dovi? I see. Din, the dancing girl, found you collapsed in the woods. She's cared for you through your nightmares. That's really nice. Din is a popular dancer. Just seeing her dance raises one's spirits. You're awake, please relax. Join our jovial troop of performers for a bit. Din has been caring for you since she's found you. She's strong-willed, but very kind-hearted. Ah, Din always looks so lovely, but she seems smitten with you. I'm jealous. I ship him. You've awakened. Good, I worried while you slept. You're Dovey, right? How do you do, Dovey? I'm Din. I saw a red flash in the woods, and... When I went to see what it was, you were lying there. Mystery surrounds you, Dovey. I'm just glad you're better. Come, won't you dance with me? Heck yeah. Don't be shy. Dancing will be fun. Look at this. You made it. Hello. How you doing? I love him. I love him. Link's trying his best. That was fun. You're a good dancer. It's been some time since I had such fun. Hey, your left hand it has a Dorito on it. That's a sacred mark in Hyrule. If it's the true symbol, then you are a hero with a special fate, Dovey. A special fate? Dovey, I... Um, nothing. Let's dance. Yeah! Uh-oh. I found you, Din, Oracle of Seasons. You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onox, General of Darkness. He's a villain with a lot of potential that I feel like should have been more active in this game, honestly. I love him. Get out of my way, boy. Oh. Ah, Dovey. No. Oh. <laughs> We're dead. Probably won't stay too long. Nice to see this game again, though. No worries. 
stay as long as you want. I love the eyes. Just it's. I don't think those are eyes. I think that's torches. But still, look at this dude. He's huge. What do you plan to do with me? <laughs> as you know. If I imprison the Oracle of Seasons, I bury the temple that houses the Season Spirits. The Seasons of Holodrum will be cast into chaos. The bountiful gifts of nature will rot, and all living things perish. That is the world of darkness that I long for. No, oh not no! <laughs> oh, he's great. I can't believe he stole our girlfriend, though. Down, Temple of Seasons! Spring, summer, fall, winter, fall into chaos! There it goes. Bye. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Uh oh. Yeah, everything's just kind of cycling through all the seasons there, just kind of neat. Ha 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 ha! And now it's winter! So that's gonna be the main mechanic of the game. The game called Oracle of Seasons, surprisingly, is about changing all the seasons. And I wish that's a mechanic that they brought back in other games, because it's really cool! Dobie, are you alright? Uh, one second. Da, 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 da. Sorry? Actually, I'm the nurse of Hyrule's Princess Zelda. And Din's no dancer either. She is actually the Oracle of Seasons who wields control over the forces of nature. Zelda has mystical powers that told of a curtain of shadow drawing around Din. I was instructed excuse me. I was instructed to take her to Hyrule in secret. Zelda gave me this quest. But how I've been wounded and I won't be able to travel for some time. Dovi, I know not why you were lying in the woods, but you and Din were fated to meet. If the Dorito on your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save the world. Please use your power to aid Din. Please take my message to the Maku Tree in Horon Village. The Maku Tree is the guardian of all Holodrum. Surely he can help. Okay. How could you let Din be taken? I'm sorry, Jumney! Also, 10 seconds of applause! Let's see if I get killed. Run! <laughs> um, yeah, hello, Jemny. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I, I got my, my girlfriend was stolen by the evil general of darkness, as, as you do. This man's just shouting at his cat. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down if only I had her favorite treat. Fish! If only. If only fish existed. But, uh, this game shares a lot with the... Aside from Oracle of Ages, obviously, it shares a lot with the um, uh, general uh, engine of Link's Awakening because it's the same engine. Uh, but there's a lot of new sprites, a lot of new enemy types, and um, just cool stuff in general. Uh, whenever you enter Horon Village here, which is kind of like your, your center, uh, it has a new uh, season. And each season has different things to do. Like in spring, you got these little flowers that can you know, do stuff for you. Uh, all the outside areas have static seasons, so they'll all be the same, but just kind of like how you can look at everything here. Uh, winter, you've got snow piled up everywhere that, you know, blocks things or gives you new paths. Um, there's not much we can do here. We can go in the shop, though. Unfortunately, you can't steal from the shops here like in Link's Awakening, so, like, what's the point, you may be asking yourself? And that's a great question. I thought this guy was trying to light a fire, but he's a painter. Doesn't he look like he's like trying to, like this is a little pile of twigs or something and he's got like a match? But no, he's a painter. It's something I realized when I grew older. Um, there's a piece of heart there, but we can't get it because there's a sapling in the way. If only we could get rid of it. Uh, let's see, that's a hydrogen atom. Little boy playing with a dog over there. This dude's just sleeping. This is the principal from uh, Community, the show. Maku Tree Gate, show courage to gain passage. 
I don't have any courage on me. If only, if only there was some courage we could find somewhere. Sir, do you have courage on you? Do come in, I'm Vasu, the jeweler. Is this your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed on to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken and you won't be able to use it, understood? Sure. Well, you don't have a ring box. I like you, so here, take this ring box. Yay, you got a level one ring box. I remember drawing a map for this game, then I lost it and never finished the game. Oh. You can hold one ring. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. <laughs> Let's appraise it. Sure. So this is a really neat mechanic in the- I call this the friendship ring, symbol of a meeting. It doesn't actually do anything. I'll appraise it for free this time, but after this it'll be 20 rupees per ring. If you get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now the list. Appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to the box. See, this is a really cool mechanic in the game. Rings do nothing unless worn. Um... I forgot. Uh, select? Yeah, there we go. So... The French ring doesn't do anything, but uh, there's a lot of really cool rings that you can find throughout the game that just... <laughs> I like you! Have free merchandise! Exactly. That just give you, like, really, really neat stuff. Look at those. I don't think we can do anything here either. Oh, you again, Mr. Wright? Hmm. The light in here is too dim to read by. Can anyone light my fire? Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night on fire. Well, let's continue exploring the town. Can we get a clock? I would love a clock, sir. I went to make a cuckoo clock better than me before, but I can't find a wooden bird that I like. One that's just breathtaking. That's too bad. Yeah, this game has, uh, much like um, Link's Awakening did, it has a trading side quest. It's great. Hello. This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with Gasha nuts now. The place planter and the planter's deeds affect what the nut produces. The mayor found a good place recently, so he's quite happy. I'm Rule, mayor of Horan Village. Do you have any Gasha seeds? If you plant one in soft earth, it will grow into a tree that bears nuts. Inside those nuts, you'll find all sorts of things. It's so fun, I can't help myself. There's some soft earth just outside, plant it there. You don't know about Gasha Seeds? You're missing out! I'll give you my prized Gasha Seed to welcome you to town! You got a Gasha Seed! There's some soft earth just outside, plant it there! Sure. <laughs> plant these nuts. Exactly. Um, so this is another cool thing. Uh, they grow into trees, and you get stuff from them, and depending on the location, and how many enemies you kill, I believe, in the interim, uh, you can get really good stuff, including a piece of hearts and rare rings. This is only open when you play this on a Game Boy Advance, so I don't know if there's a way to get around that for this game, but this is the House of the Wise Know-It-All birds. Yeah, you can talk to these birds and they give you tutorials and we're not going to do that because it takes forever. But yeah, I don't know if there's an option when we're selecting the game or not, but Heroes Cave sounds like a cool place to get some, uh, some uh, courage. That's not a hero's cave, that's a fairy fountain. Hey guys, how y'all doing? You know, usually we start with a shield or something. Oh, what's here? Nothing! How do you know how to play the game without talking to burbs? Well, I happen to know everything, obviously. Like these crabs, those are claws that are sticking up from them. Not their eyes. I always thought it was their eyes, but their eyes are just the little things in the middle of their sprite there. Doesn't it look like they're giant eyes? I think it looks like they're giant eyes. Let's go in the hero's cave. With keys. Full of keys. How about this? We'll talk to two burbs when we get out of here. But yeah, this is a cute little tutorial section that just tells you don't fall into pits. Push blocks! Don't fall into more pits! 
this little dude just kind of sticks to you. Press. What do we get? A key. A small key. How do we use it? Gasp. Maybe we have to go all the way back to the beginning. I love the music in this game so much. I mean, I like Link's Awakening, but this one just has like a particularly um, whimsical bunch of music. What if I want to fall? You can't. No falling allowed. I'm glad I went in the correct direction because I forgot that there was a room down here. I want to say that we have to push one of these blocks. Ow! We received damage. You jerk. Oh, never mind. It's just the key. Boop. Oh no! Enemies popping out of the ground! What are we gonna do? Ooh. Hello. You got the wooden sword! This is truly a sign of courage! Hold A or B to power it up, then release it for a spin attack! Hooray! And it just yeets us out over there. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because we are going to go on a killing spree and also cut a piece of grass. We're gonna head right back in. See so if you cut this. Da da da. You can fall down, obviously. And get this thingy! 30 rupees! Hooray! Now we. Oh, now we have enough to, uh. get another, uh. uh ring appraised if we ever find one. Or maybe buy something in a store. And now we can kill things and get more money! <laughs> You're done. Get out. Right now. That's right. We can defend ourselves! Yay! So I think this area out here is always winter as well. But uh, you can tell where the city limit is by the wooden posts there. And now it's autumn! Autumn is really cool in some areas of the game. Mainly because um, you get like leaf piles everywhere. Like over here. And it can cover holes and things. How's our nut doing? It's still the same! But, can we get this now? No. The answer is no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, we can do though. Go over this dude? No, I want to pop your bubble! Well, anyway, what's a sign of courage? A spin attack, obviously. Link hasn't learned cut yet. What other HMs do I need? Look at this dude. Get used to this song. You're gonna hear it a lot. Anyway, we're gonna wake him up. I used to think that was a Gasha seed falling, and I was like, where is it? Oh, who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? Oh, what? Din was taken while I slept? There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons. This is awful. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. Alas, how I've withered. What's to be done, Dovi? With the seasons in chaos, the land is robbed of the very essence of nature, draining all of my might. Can you save Din in my stead? It is all this Makutri has ever asked. I sense evil on the northern peak, where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onox has cast a shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature, the eight MacGuffins of nature that lie sleeping in Holodrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. Essences possess the sacred power of nature with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. And trees, yeah, I don't know how, why a tree is a good guardian when, you know, they can't move. All you gotta do is get out of their, like, radius of falling on you. Shall I repeat it? No. How dare you put yeses first. Did I give you this key? Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just... Uh, you rush until... Uh, the energy. <laughs> okay, well, you got the gnarled key. That's pretty gnarly. Something, something roots underground, something. I'll believe it when I see it. Still can't beat this guy up. How dare he. Well... Yeah, the tree doesn't have seeds on it. Another cool thing is that the seed trees like that uh, are seasonal. Seedsonal. That wasn't funny. 
Uh, let's go check out the shop before we leave, because I'm pretty sure I can buy us a shield now. Yes, beautiful. Uh, if you're playing the linked game, I believe that Impa gives you the shield instead. This one little, little, uh, things. All right, down here. This is, this is important down here. Right here. This child. I'm Blossom. This is my first child. A healthy baby boy, but I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? You get to name a child, and this child grows up through the linked game. So you have to live with the consequences of your actions. <laughs> Here, stranger, name my child. So, what dumb, terrible name are we going to give this unfortunate baby boy? <laughs> Should have asked the stream beforehand, but you know what? You gonna play the whole game, or is this a once-off? Probably not on stream. Um, because it takes a while. Peppa. Oh, no. Oh no, are we- are we naming this child Peppa? Do I have to do that? I don't want to do that. How about- how about a nice name like- like- ah. <laughs> Bluey Kappa. I'm still waiting for Jimmy to buy me the Bluey game. I know it's gonna happen at some point. I don't want it to happen, but I know he's gonna do it. He's a gremlin. Does Bluey even work? Does that fit? Lord, it does work. I'm not gonna escape. I'm not gonna escape these children's shows. I don't even remember what I named it in my Let's Play. Not a clue. I guess we're going with Bluey. It's better than Peppa. You would name him Bluey? Yeah! That's a fine name. That's what I call him. That's all I call him. I'm happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. And so the name is decided, Bluey. Yes, it's a fine name. I hope he grows to be a fine child. Oh, I'm sure he will. Oh, right. One of the worst parts of this game is that autumn brings mushrooms. I mean, the mushrooms are always there, but the rest of the season, they're stones because they're stone mushrooms. It's terrible. The seasons are a mess. Uh, Bluey. As long as he's not Kablooey, we're good. Let's talk to two burbs. Uh, you. Want to learn about maps? Sure. Press select to view the map. Okay. Dark regions are ones you haven't visited. There's a big map. How about you? Want to learn about shield tactics? Sure. You could press the shield button. Great. Okay, these are shorter than I thought. Want to learn about bombs? After taking a bomb, I'll press the button again to place it. The nice thing about these games is that you don't need a bomb bag. You just need to buy the bombs. Want to learn about items? Set items to A or B. Okay, cool. Want to learn about seasons? The holodrum has four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. The world changes with the seasons. In the spring, blast blooms can send you high in the air. Summer reveals creek beds and lake bottoms. In... Fall leaves open new paths and mushrooms are ready to be picked. In winter, snow blocks, trails, and lakes freeze. Want to learn about essences? Well, there's first herbal essence. Oh, okay. Want to learn about the subscreens? Press start to access the subscreen and select to go through them. Item status and essence and quests and rings. Want to learn about saving? You can't! <laughs> That's mean. Want to learn about the mystical seeds? There are five kinds of mystical seeds. They appear in different seasons, and each seed type has a unique effect. Can't carry a seed without a satchel. 
Want to learn about the hero skill? A skill for a courageous hero. Oh, it's just that. Wow. Okay. It's like a hint of how do you be courageous? Spin attack. Got it. We'll learn about equipment. Press button to use equipment. Look at all this equipment we got. We can technically just unequip everything off of ourselves, but that's not a good idea. Yeah, this season is fall. We can save. I'm not going to, because I'm hardcore. Hey, Impa. A gnarled root goes straight from here. I'm sure I saw one there. Go with caution. Learn how to tap a button. That's right. So there's going to be... Soft Earth is great for planting seeds. There's going to be Gasha seed locations literally everywhere. But yeah, we couldn't have gone through until we got in the sword here. And look, now there's just enemies here. Alas. Ow. Ooh, who's up here? I forgot who's up here. Is this one of the people? Oh, right. My dad, Talon, went to climb Mount Cuckoo, so I have to care for our hens, but there's so much I don't know. Here, let me help you. I'm teaching, I'm teaching you a very important lesson right now, Malin. Ah! <coughs> no! <coughs> Excuse me. Did you learn something today, kids? Don't hurt animals, or they'll hurt you back. Anyway. <laughs> Important lesson, how to make birds kill you. So this dungeon is cool. The root, uh, gnarled root dungeon is a reference to the first dungeon in uh, the original Zelda, I'm pretty sure. Hey, buddy. Return light on to unlit torches! Well, that doesn't really help me when I can't do anything here. Oh, okay, I can go here though. Hey, Stelphos. That was a five rupee. Oh, okay, well, there's the unlit torches. So I guess we go in the other direction. Boom. And boom. Thankfully, these ones don't seem to be the jumping kind, because I hate those. Those are like the more beige ish colored ones. But we got a dungeon map now, and it's shaped like an upside down umbrella. And certainly not a root system of a gnarled tree. Now, all of the, uh, all the maps look like something. You know, they have a a theme. But now we can do the most important thing in this game, take a minecart. Gonna be doing these a lot in both games. Boom. Whoop. Can you... I thought I could push that, but I guess... Ow. I guess not. I have to use my superior intellect to make it through this confounding puzzle maze. Haha! -ha! Look at me. And what do we get? A Gasha Seed! Yay! You're gonna have Gasha Seeds coming out of your ears by the time this game is over, let me tell you. Go up this way though. Boop. Let's rearrange the tracks a little bit. And this should be a key. Nope, the compass. Thank God, unlike uh, Link's Awakening, the compass here doesn't tell you that it has a new feature every single gosh dang time you get one. Do do. Do do. No, no, I want it. I want it. I wonder if there's a key in that room. So what are you? Are you a ring? No, you're bombs! Hooray! We don't even need to buy the bombs. Wow. It's nice that that's not even, like, the dungeon item. I wonder if I put it right there. Uh... Boop. Ah! 
Jerk. Ow. I'm too lazy to wait. <laughs> Need a key. I should have gotten the key before I went through this gauntlet here. Also, remember to stay hydrated. I seem to be getting hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, that was fast. See, it's important to keep in mind that the fact that you are indeed a mortal, a mortal, not immortal, and that things can and will kill you. Otherwise, they'll kill you. You'll die. Yes. Can't get through there either. So maybe maybe we should have gotten that uh, that key. Let's let's rectify that mistake maybe. Perhaps. I believe the cart running into enemies kills them, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll never find out. Okay, let's go up and around this way instead this time. Not make a fool of ourselves. Aha! Small key! One problem with having bombs on the A button is that I just mash the A button to get out of menus and it leads to me just spamming my bombs. I'm used to sword being on B at this point, so I'm not going to change it. Oop. Okay, this time we'll we'll do this the correct way. See? See, I know how to be careful. Ow. Oh, we get mini boss time though. Rawr, you cannot pass. Oh no. Two moblins with a boomerang that curves. They're killing me actually. Oop. That was a good throw. Yeah, they got a lot of HP, actually. This is like the Red Goomba and Blue Goomba Brothers, you know, the Paper Mario. They they have linked health, which is interesting. But we didn't die. I'm good. That gives us a way to get back to the entrance of the dungeon, if we want to. Boop! 2D section! Yay! This thing isn't even in a, uh, a chest. You got a seed satchel. It has 20 ember seeds. This, gonna, this thing is going to be really fun to select in your menus once you get a whole bunch of seeds to choose from. And by fun, I mean it's going to be really annoying. There we go. So now we can light things on fire. And I think we'll just take the shortcut back. Oh, that's not even to the entrance. That's interesting. Usually these things go back to like the entrance, but I guess it just wants to fast track you to this place. You can also light the enemies on fire, which is really funny to watch. It's just really short range, so you usually just have to get right in their faces to do it, which is dangerous to you. But like I said, it's funny, so it's kind of worth it sometimes. Ooh, you found the boss key. That's not the button I wanted to press. That's the button I wanted to press. And that's still not the button I wanted to press. Okay, so we did the rest of the dungeon, so let's just go back to that first room that we needed to light stuff on fire. Kill enemies to open the door. Let's 
some torches. Sometime, oh, oh, this room. Right, we got floor masters and they just keep appearing. I believe there's a certain, a set amount of them so you can eventually kill all of them. But they're also jerks. They'll, uh, they won't hurt you, but they'll just take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Because they're mean. We got a ring over there. Yeah, this, this, uh... Screen has its own bunch of jerks here. No seeds for me. We don't need them though, but yeah, we got boss time now. Against Aquamentus. I feel like he's all—he's al also a, a reference to the first boss in Zelda One, which is cute. You just have to hit him in the horn a lot. He's a very easy boss. I get a heart container. Yeah, it's it's easy. It's easy. The game gets longer, but it's easy for now. And we get a smiling plant. The fertile soil and essence of nature. Seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. Literally, the only part of this dungeon I remember is the minecart. Excuse me. After each dungeon, the Mako Tree calls you and he's like, Yo, thanks. Hua, it's me, the Mako Tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me. Uh, too. I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land I do not know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Dovi. That's all I can see now. <sighs> okay, well, now that we can burn things, we can go even further. This game starts easy but gets pretty difficult. Uh, I guess. Also, yay! We got our first encounter with everybody's waifu. Maple! Wow, you dropped all that in the water, you jerk. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going! You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all this stuff fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad. I can't find any Lon, Lon eggs, and now this? I'll just take the stuff you dropped, too. Finders keepers! Okay, well, I'm gonna go for this. Uh, you'll remember this! So you have, like, a race between the two of you to try to, um... Uh... Haven't played this game in eons. Same, really. Also, hello, Nightshade. How are you doing? Um... What was I saying? Yeah, you get, like, a race to pick up all the stuff she dropped, and it's only on specific screens. And you can technically just, like, cycle back and forth between some of the screens to try to get her to spawn. And uh, she also has a piece of heart uh, to uh, to find eventually, but there's a it's all random chance. Where can the Temple of Seasons be hidden? Does no one have a clue? One more hour of work left. Now you can leave early. Tell him I said it's okay. I really should stop saying that to people. <laughs> um, one of the places that Maple can appear reliably usually is above Vasu's shop and then like half the stuff gets stuck on the shop there but it's okay anyway now that we have a sword and a satchel we can restore that also don't tell anyone about this I'm gonna burn things one annoying thing is that while something is burning uh, you can't use another seed so you just have to wait a lot in this game for that anyway old man Shh, don't tell! Ooh, was that a hundred rupees? I have nothing more for you. Yeah, sometimes you burn stuff and you find weird old men and they, uh, they give you things. Splendid, I can finally focus! Here, take this Kukudex! You got a Kukudex! It's the result of many years of cuckoo research. You know what we can also do? We can blow a hole in this guy's wall. That's what you get. He's like, hey! Apparently Maple appears after you defeat 30 enemies. Really? Huh. Neat. Anyway, we got another 20 rupees. That's not bad. You can only get this during winter, or I guess when you can swim. But generally during winter when the water's frozen there. 
But the Kukidex is the start of our uh, collectathon, not collectathon, our trading side quest. The best kind of side quest. It's a secret to everybody. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll have Vasu uh, praise that ring that we found in the dungeon. Some rings are set and some rings are not. This is the Discovery Ring, since soft earth nearby. Rings do nothing unless worn. Um, so yeah, some, some rings that you find in the game are specific and some of them are just random. But uh, we are going to replace the friendship ring with the discovery ring because it actually does something. Also, you got cute little snakes here, but they don't do anything for you because they're for passwords. When you have passwords. So this will just tell us if there's um, underground... Uh, stuff to find, uh, you know, uh, whatever thing. You get, you get what I'm saying. But um, we can't really do anything about that. That's what Zelda Dungeon says. Okay, I might be inclined to believe them. Okay, so a few things to do before we uh, go on to the next area. One is to get our first piece of hearts. Next is let's check on the progress of my Gasha seed. Oh, it's already it's already full. Look at this dude. You got a Gasha nut. Check what's inside. I'm gonna guess it's 30 rupees. A ring. Okay, fine. And then it kind of withers away, and you're like, what do I do now? Well, if you leave the screen and come back, it, the spot is back there. Also, oh, that's neat. It actually makes that sound. So let's go have this ring uh, 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 appraised. This is the blue luck ring. Half damage from beams. That's nice. There's like little cute little things like that. Uh, less damage from like various... Uh, does not have the advanced job. Yeah, we, we saw that. Alas. You can't get 100% ring completion. <laughs> Excuse me. can't believe there's another thingy here. You know what? Let's put our Gasha seed over there. Slightly better results since it's further away from civilization. But now that we have the Cuckoo decks, maybe we should help someone out over here. Alright, Malin, I have help for you. Watch this. All you gotta do is light the chickens on fire. <laughs> My dad telling me to climb Mount Cuckoo. Oh no, there's so much I don't know. Say, is it a Cuckoo Dex? That would be a big help. May I have it? Sure. Really? Thank you. Take this. It's a long, long egg. These eggs are all the rage with cute girls. Hmm, where do I know a cute girl? Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Cook her livestock. That's what we do in this town. Okay, well, I guess we'll go kill enemies. I'm just trying to remember what you get from... Is it something that is usable in town? I don't think so. So you know what? We'll, we'll leave town here, but you give the cuckoo, the llama egg to, to Maple. That was implied by her, but you have to actually run into her, so it might take a while. Hey, buddy. No, it's still one time. Ah, ha ha, I knew it. Wait, young traveler, I'm a wandering prophet, Sakura. Sakura? I feel it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. The four spirits are calling you. Make no mistake, the Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple, then pay a visit to the spirits who live there. Surely they can help. Farewell! Thanks, buddy, you did a lot. Anyway, now we can go here. You know what? I'm just gonna burn this other tree since that stays gone permanently. More enemies. Uh, so this area is autumn themed, but if we go down here, it's summer. Yeah. We can't do anything here yet, but I just want to show you the best place in the game. This little dude right here. I want to get back and meet mates and dig this ship for you, but the captain said, Don't come back till you find me, Belle. Can't someone take me place? This is going to be my favorite part of the game. And if you want to know why it's my favorite part of the game, you should watch my Let's Play. 
where I talk about it for a while. <laughs> anyway, back into autumn. Uh, these tree stumps are going to become important later, so keep them in mind. There's nothing we can do up here. Ooh. Do -do -do -do. It's horrible. A temple, like, fell into Sebrosia. Um, what's a temple? Sebrosia is a secret place and must return in secret without being seen. That's right, we're going to have a stealth minigame! Boom, boom, boom. The one here with our mysterious, uh, mysterious ribbon wearing cutie is, uh, not that difficult, but try not to fail it. It's a secret, that's why I'm shouting about it. Don't you all shout about your secrets? I like hanging back a little just to make sure, because sometimes they walk back. Devious little creatures. There it is. There it is. You're like, I'm ready. Nope. And... She's gone. <laughs> what do we find? Ooh, a portal. So this is like right next to where we were before. But inaccessible. And it takes us. You know, everyone's playing Tears of the Kingdom and they're like, Wow, Tears of the Kingdom, look at this giant underground map. Guess who did it first? Uh, actually, it was links, a link to the past with the Dark World. No! Shut up. I don't want to hear facts from you. It was the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. It had the underground first. Jawas. That's right, these are Jawas. Whoa, a temple fell into East Plaza. Look at all this really cool lava going around here. If you can do the Sabrosian dance, you get a boomerang. Grab items, sit switches, sun beasts, boomerangs are the best. You know what? Let's dance. I like dancing. I want to joke Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, but that was DS. Yeah, that's right. Everyone copied this game. They don't realize how good they got it. Also, these... These guys, the Sabrosians, they're just like, they're like almost Gorons, but Gorons are in this game, but they're just, they're in the lava. It's crazy. It's clearly a banana, not a boomerang. You know what? That's true. This is Sabrosia Dance Hall. Good dancers get a prize. We're about to practice. Would you like to dance? Heck yeah. Then join the circle. Need instructions? No, I know how to do this. It's just left, right, up, down, A. Right, right, left, right. You don't need rhythm for this, you just need to do it right. A. A, left, right. Right, left, right. Left, left, A. Right, 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 right. In ages, you need rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. This one's just line dancing. No! Shoot! I pressed A instead of left. What a, what's wrong with me? Final Fantasy IV did it on SNES days. Listen, you. I'm talking about Zelda games. Don't confuse the issue with facts. Boom. It's also different every time. Boom, boom, boom. I think, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Da, boom, da. Boom, boom, boom. 
Bum, bum. You're pretty good. You're our best dancer today. Here's a prize. You got a banana. Hooray. We got the banana. You can come here to get other prizes later, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to play with the banana. I was going to say we're going to play with our banana, but that doesn't sound good. We're going to play with a banana. But now that I've made it weird, that probably sounds worse. You don't even need the boomerang here. You know what? You kind of do, though, don't you? To get into the temple? Hello. If you dig up the ground near here, you can get more chunks. More chunks. Boom, boom, boom. This erupts and it kills you. Hello. Oh, these dudes. Okay. Welcome to Sabrosian Smithy. We're gonna have come back here later. Can throw a bomb? Uh, I guess so. I've never tried to do that because it's a waste. Do, do, do. You need a key to get through that door right there and over there. Now we are going to go to the temple. Every day we're going to the temple, temple. Let us see. You've finally come. When the temple was buried, I thought perhaps you wouldn't come to see me. In this temple of seasons is where we four spirits reside. I've waited a long time for you. Do you like spring or summer, fall perhaps? But no, you must love winter, get the rod of seasons, and visit us who wait in each of the four corner towers. Okay. Towers, towers, we are gonna go visit. Ooh, fancy. Mm. You got the rod of seasons! With the power of the season spirits, it can change the seasons. Right now, it's nothing. Now bring the run of seasons to us season spirits in the four towers. That was two towers. Isn't that, isn't that the movie? Two towers? Also, don't tell anyone about this. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. There's nothing here until the linked game. I like that the area is also, this is totally just the face of a Reggie right over here. This is like, you know, Reggie Gigas' face. Tell me I'm wrong. Do I like seasons or ages better? <laughs> Why do you think I'm playing this one? Because I love it so much more. I guess you could toss a bomb, but why would you do that when you have banana? Dan is a better waifu than Nairu. Thank you for coming, child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the waters freeze and the snows pile up. Visit the other three spirits there too, please. Hurry to Din's aid. It's canonically first? I, I don't know. Is it? You can call forth winter though. Yeah, we get it this over here. It does absolutely nothing, but you can swing it like a sword and bonk people in the head with it, and it's really funny. I thought you were gonna play both. I mean, in general, not for stream here. I'm still in the middle of that Pokemon uh, Infinite Fusion thing that we're gonna get back to one day. So the item actually was the Rod of Seasons. New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Dovey, can you do... Yeah, 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 whatever. So unfortunately, we can't um, check out... I'm home! Oh, Jimmy, now you're not going to know how to get past where you got stuck. Yeah, we can't do any of the other um, seasons yet, unfortunately. That is too bad. But we are gonna go this way, not that way. 
We're just gonna keep going this way, this way, and we're gonna see that there's not much more that we can do here. But I'm gonna try to do it anyway. But there is too much lava blocking the way. So I guess we leave here and go up to the regular world. Whoop. Did my Pokemon sleep work for you today? My alarm didn't go off. I think, I think it did. I think I got a, a point from you. Hey buddy, you're following me around. That's it! You have the Rod of Seasons. If that Rod of Seasons held the power of the season spirits, you could change the seasons, but I see it only has the power of winter. Swing the rod from atop the stump, its power will be unleashed. Do you understand? Yes. Ooh. The Temple Seasons has sunk into some land called Sabrosia. There must be other entrances to the Sabrosian land. You must find them. Perhaps you will even go to the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. Bye. You tracked everything but no sleep? Oh, no alarm. That's weird. Excuse me, sorry. Um, yeah, I wonder if he has different di I guess he has different dialogue if you just get the rod and leave without get getting winter. But anyway, you stand on the rod and you take a swing. And now it's winter! Watch, I'm gonna bop this guy. It doesn't do any damage, but you can give him a bonk. Oh, you can defl- you, that's cool, it works like the shield. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna bonk you until you're dead. Bunk, 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 bunk. Whoops, wrong sword. But yeah, now we can go over ice, is what I'm trying to say. Bunk, bunk. No, stupid pea hats, bunk. Ow. Fairy fountain. They heal you. Stick shield. That's right, it's the stick shield. The best version of the shield. Uh, also, when it's winter, sometimes there are trees like this that uh, lose all the leaves. Most trees don't. Oh, it's spring again. That means we can bo Oh, you know what we're gonna do? First of all, like like eats your shield. Don't go near. Second of all... That. But third of all, we're gonna do some hardcore bonking right over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Who said it's not a weapon, huh? That's right, we just killed all three of them with our bonk thing. That's the technical scientific name for uh, the Rod of Seasons, the bonk thing. And we get 30 rupees from that, hooray. Renaming everything tonight. Okay, uh, can I blow up this? Is this a hole in the wall? Nope. Bonk. Oh right, it's over here. Sunken Falls. Headwaters in Sunken City. That's cool, let's check it out. Nope. Can't swim. But what we can do is make this area winter. And it's very important that we make this area winter because now we're about to meet the most important character in the game. Us! You startled me! Winter sets in all of a sudden. Then down my chimney comes. You're not Santa! You don't scare me. Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway. Keep the shovel when you're done. No, we are Santa Claus. You don't understand. Anyway, the shovel is actually one of the most important items in the game because it's like the only... W it's actually a necessary item, unlike some other Zelda games. Where you're just like, yeah, whatever. Ah! Bugs! Um, but you can just dig everything. But when you're in Sabrosia, you dig for ore chunks, more chunks. And that's the only way to get them, those ore chunks, more chunks. But, uh, during the winter, um, no. During the winter, you have, um, get out of here. 
during the winter you have uh, snow that piles up and it can only be gotten rid of by the shovel. I thank you for paying to fix my door. Oh, you jerk, he took 50 rupees. Yeah, some of those guys are mean because they're old. As we all know, all old people are mean. Hmm, can't get that. Actually, you can, but it's difficult because you usually just go right in the water, but you can usually squeeze right through those things. I don't think there's any reason to dig here. No. But we can... Make a winter again! And can we get there now? No. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> but now that we can uh, do that over here, we can just go around this way. And, uh... Uh, so when we were, we could have gone here from the other direction over there, but if we would have gone to the screen, there wouldn't have been anything we can do because uh, there was snow everywhere. So we had to take the circuitous route and head over here and get mystery seeds. I'm going to try my seed on so many things. Hello, owl. Do not forget to give me mystery seeds. That's all he says. Jerk. But yeah, it's our second of five seed types in the game. Uh, now I do believe. Yeah, look, look over here. So we have like autumn there. The water implies winter. You can freeze that. Summer is the only time that vines grow. So we can't get back up there. But there's the dungeon entrance. I'm just going to go in here for a second. This isn't the dungeon, but this is a uh, heal point. And also a tease for that other thing with S. Uh, anyway, can't lift the rock, so let's just head into dungeon two. Snake's remains. Gonna, it's a dark room, which means we're gonna start by lighting the fires. It's an interesting looking room over here. Is this a chest actually have anything? Oh, five rupees. Great. Also like how those slimes just kill themselves there. Uh, these ropes here, I don't know why they're called ropes. They're snakes. Uh, but they, they just launch themselves at you as soon as you're in line of sight. I really hope the snake's remains isn't shaped like a snake after all is said and done. That would be silly. The the dungeon look. Uh, let's see. Should be, yeah, or you dudes. Ah! The lanterns shoot at you. That's mean. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the game wants me to do in here. If only there was some sort of indication. Fun fact. Normal wall. Fake wall. Just like in most handheld Zelda games, I guess. And now we get one ruby. It's weird. Some of these are 20s. Some of these are 1s. You kind of just have to bear with it. But yeah, there's a few secret rooms like this, and I appreciate them. It's the only time you see rupees like this, because they're not the standard rupee sprite, because those disappear. It's like a static floor <laughs> floor rupee. A floopy, if you will. Oh, you know what we need for this guy? You might say just the sword, but no, we need our bonking stick. There we go. There we go. Always good to have a good bonking stick. Uh, so these plants actually regrow over time, which is nice because the only way to kill these guys... I guess it could be a combination of bombs and the boomerang, just to stun them with the boomerang. I've never tried that before. But wow, that's so much, such a much better idea. 
I mean, you have to hit them with a bomb then, but... Never, never thought to do that. Anyway, we get the power bracelet. Hooray! We can pick stuff up. I wish this was kind of like the power bracelet in later Zeldas where... Actually, not even later Zeldas. In other Zeldas. 3D Zeldas where you don't need to equip it, but alas. Yeah, the banana is really OP. Banana is the, always the most OP thing. I don't even know what these guys are supposed to be. They're like little beetles, but they, they got little eyes. Like, are those are those little feet in the front? I can never tell what they're supposed to look like. Okay, rope's falling from the ceiling here. I am dying. Those guys almost always give you rupees. Uh, whenever you're stuck in a puzzle, symmetry. Symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. Gonna wait till this dude passes us. Oh, you jerk! What a little jerk face! How actually dare you? That's it. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take it with me through the rest of the dungeon. Oh, I didn't realize I could actually transport that between rooms. That's neat. What's in here? Did we miss the, the map? <laughs> Did I just completely bypass this room? I think I did. Oh, I think sometimes you have to kill all the enemies first before you can push the block. No, I found the compass. Did we find the map? We did. Okay, it's a snake. You you can't really tell it well, but it's it's a snake. And now you're just going to hear that for the rest of our time here. Okay, I have a heart. It's not a heart. Please try not to kill me, thank you. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We can do something in that room, but I'm gonna go here first. Uh, no, wrong way. Mm. Can't remember which way is the correct way to go here. So we're just gonna blow that up. Correct rocks. Yeah, I've never actually tested to see if they make the sound same sound as a fake wall, but they do. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, he tries to crush you because he's mean. Also, these little dudes also try to crush you, and I'm going to kill the bat first. I don't even know if they're keys in this game. It might just be evil bat like in... Uh... What's that game called? Where are we? We're up there. We're in the wrong spot. But I think we can take a shortcut back later. You need the to hold A to push that. Majora's Mask, that's what it was. Majora's Mask is where they're evil bats. See, this is a sneaky area because you have cracked floors and if you spend too long trying to push on the cracked floor, while you're standing on the cracked floor, you'll fall. Also, after a little while, it just eh, resets. Mini boss time though. Hey, it's facade. I remember. Remember when this guy was the boss of of level six in Link's Awakening, and now I think it's level six, not level five. Yeah, he's not the level five. Some some angler's mob was level five, um, and now he's just gonna be a mini boss that shows up all the time. It's, it's kind of sad, but I love that they just reuse him, like, a lot in this game, especially in this version. I love Facade. He's great. Uh, now I do believe that we want to detour backwards for a moment. Um, 
This almost sounds like the um, the music or the the sound effect that you're you're getting a call on Discord or or Skype or whatever. You know that that thing, that little little earworm. Everyone loves to hear. Got demoted after his poor performance for the first time. You know what? You're onto something there. Also, hello, jacket. How are you doing? So let's go down this time and get our thing of who's it here at. I don't know if this actually does anything for us, but I think this is just like a test room for this area. Oh, that just leads us outside. Or no, no, no it does lead us back in. I'm like that. That doesn't do anything for us. No, no, this this is the way to the boss cave. Although the way that I did it is actually good because we can just exit the dungeon and immediately go to the uh, warp. Let's just blow that up. Uh, like the ember seeds, you can only have one bomb out at a time. But your enemies don't need that. We also need a lot of bombs to get through here. Oh my gosh. We, we were one short. I don't think they reset. Oh, of course there's a time limit. Excuse me, game. Please, please give me bombs. Oh, I have to buy them? Here's a deal. Ten bombs of 30 rupees, you little jerk. It does reset. Uh, mean, mean and rude. <sighs> Are we gonna get it in time? Just made it, okay. Small key, we did it. It's cooling down after a treadmill session, just working on some projects so I cool off. Nice. Nice, nice. I really need to get back into a exercise routine. I have been slacking incredibly. You can't climb up here. Get it, get it. Get out of here. Don't make me bonk you. I love that we got the mystery seeds and then we're like never actually asked to use them so far in this dungeon at all. I can show you what they do. They kind of just have random effects. Um, which is funny to watch, I guess. This is a cracked wall. Boom. Kaboom, baby. Uh. Okay, so that thing is a spark. And it can only be killed by our banana. So, yeah, just... Um, no, can mystery seeds kill the sparks too? I don't... I don't think so, but I'm gonna try it. No, no, no. Bananas only. It's like a Mario Kart rule set. Oh, this is... this is trouble. Oh. Beautiful. So you the boss key? You're the boss key. Alright. Well, we got everything we need. So, onward and upward. Uh, these things are also new to this, these two games. 
um, little spinny tiles, and you kind of have to get yourself to go around in a circle just to get things to move. Um, these dudes are Pulse Voices, which are from the original Zelda game also. There's a lot of callbacks to the original Zelda in, in this. But uh, they can be destroyed with sound, which we don't have in this version. But they can also be blown up. They're more or less immune to everything else. Didn't actually need to do that, but I wanted to demonstrate. Because I'm like that. And now that we've made a full circle, we go this way. And that's not really gonna help us. No. Okay, so now that we've done that though, we can make an even bigger circle. Go back to the Poles voice room. And on our way, we're gonna throw our banana at this dude. Because I need some health. Apparently. And they are thankfully not back. And now that we've made a huge loop like that, we can go down. I don't think we actually had to make that loop to go down here, but that was what I did. I was just showing you how the game works. You jerk. And uh, let's... Nope. Let's hope that it's not a clown like Link's Awakening. No, even better, it's a Dodongo! Okay, so I don't think you even need your sword for this guy. I'm pretty sure it's bombs and the power bracelet. So he's gonna open his mouth, he gets really, really fat, and then you just throw him onto the spikes there. Yeah, not many Zelda bosses that are like, no swords. No capes. Whoa! Don't you wish you had one of these guys as a pet? Look at him. Look at his chonky self. I wish I could get a Dodongo as a pet. Alas. If only there was a way. If only. There's more to that. There we go. Uh, has it appeared over here or up there? Over here! I can't wait to pet some Dodongos. My thoughts exactly. Excuse me. You got the gift of time and essence of nature. Seeds sprout as seasons change with the gift of time. For no reason at all, what would what do you guys like more? Lizards, bears, or kangaroos? I too received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt of Spool Swamp out west. Something is afoot there, but I can see no more. Ugh. You know, uh, for no particular reason, just asking. Hey, okay, so this time that we run into Maple, there's gonna be nothing to get because we have our egg. Kangaroos, they know how to rap. We. They don't know how to rap. We were deceived into thinking they could rap, but it turns out it was just a dream sequence. Now, oh, you watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Serp's apprentice. Oh my, that's one of those Lon Lon eggs that are all the rage with girls now. It's just what I'm looking for. You're a boy, you don't need it. I'll give you my doll for it. You got a ghastly doll, looking at it gives you chills. How dare you take a girl toy away from Link? This makes up for you bumping into me. See ya! Jerk. Well, fine. Um, so Spool Swamp is out this way, so uh, I believe over here there was some rocks that we needed that we needed the um, power bracelet to be able to 
do something with. So we can head back over there. Actually, um, we can make a big circle over here, as far as I remember, and uh, get ourselves some, some, some piece of heart. But we have to like make a big circle, right? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. So let's go do that and get that piece of heart since we can lift the rock. And not just any rock, we can lift the rock. Dwayne the Jock Ronson. Actually, I don't think I really needed to do that. One second, let's see. No, we're stuck here. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's see if uh, I could do that in a different direction. I believe this is a dead end. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, and let's get our shovel out. We don't need that, okay. Didn't need it at all. Very good at directions, as you can see. Just having the, the best directional orientation out of any human being, really. It's just a boulder. It, it's just a rock. It's a boulder. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. No, it's not a rock. It, yeah, you know, it's not a boulder. It's a rock, right? That's that's the line. The pioneers used to ride these baby for miles. Anyway, as I completely messed that up, Jolteron, hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Playing Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I keep almost saying ages, and I don't know why. I think it's because technically that's the last one I played, so I'm more used to talking about it. Uh, how, where else? Have we have not gone to the right over here. We're just going to look at some areas on the map that we can't do anything with. Like over here. Hello, car outside making beeping sounds. Uh, we can burn some of these trees. Usually when there's three trees, the middle one is somewhere to go, but not always. Not always. They're basically sister games, yeah. Age of Seasons, there we go. Legend of Zelda Age of Seasons. It's like Age of Calamity. Do, 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 do. I like that he's just sitting there and you're like, what, what are you doing up there, old man? Do -do. <laughs> I want to get to that, but we can't. I think we need Autumn to get there. I'm not sure. No, let's see. No. Oh, because we already made this winter? I guess we can get this one. Neat. Got a piece of heart. Didn't realize we could do this now. Hooray! I mean, I totally knew we could do this now. Anyway, this is the way to get up to him. Can't believe Game of Thrones stole the windmill theme for their main theme. Go around, go around. If I could just oil it, it would go around more quickly. You really want to do that? More hearts. Heck yeah. Oh, you're back in the village here. It's autumn. So every every so often, after being in a dungeon, you should go check on the Mako tree because sometimes he gets big. And now we can go inside him. And uh, we have poor little poor little Faror over here. Welcome, Dovi. I'm Faror, Oracle of Secrets. I was supposed to have my own game, but they cut it. It was cut content. 
Now instead you just use me for passwords. Cries. Big Mako tree. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here, but this outside area um, gets bigger and bigger every time we beat a dungeon, and there's actually stuff that you can get from it, so that's neat. Poor Faror. Alas. Not only not only there, but in Minish Cap, when you only have two out of three of the sisters that can be given a, uh, a house and you just ignore her. Uh, now that it's autumn here, actually, we should be able to uh, get the treasure that is behind the mushrooms over here. I hate these mushrooms because uh, they just kind of bounce around for a little bit. So, like, they don't go away immediately. They make me angry. How's the baby doing? Bluey looks a little strange. I want to take him to a doctor, but we have no rupees. Could you please lend us some? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I guess I'll give you a billion dollars? Rexinator, thank you so much for the raid. No, no, why is it playing again? Why is it playing again? It shouldn't be playing again, no! Quick, go to the raid screen, will it stop? It won't! It's not stopping! It's not echoing, it played a second time! Is it playing a third time? Jimmy, no! Gets more difficult as it continues. No! The 20 meter pacer test. Why is it playing at the seconds. same time? Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Jimmy, no. Why would you do this? Thank you. Thank you for the 1500 bits. We actually haven't played this in a while because I kept doing things where I couldn't run the raid screen. Anyway, the Rexinator. Thank you so much for the raid. Sorry about your face there. Uh, Kids of Sakura, also, hello. How you both doing? How was your raid? How was your raid? Yeah, how was your raid? <laughs> Did you have a good raid? Uh, how was your stream? I hope, uh, hope your stream went well. We are playing The Legend of Zelda... Why is my face gone? There I am. <laughs> We're playing The Legend of Zelda uh, Oracle of Seasons on the Nintendo Switch Online. Hey Dovey, my boy Zill, but I still have something to teach you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Doing well, finish the Crystal Tower story in FF14. Nice! One day, one day my friends are going to peer pressure me enough into actually playing that game. One day. Gotcha nuts. Gotcha D's nuts. Hello. Hello, Ben. How are you doing? Uh, so you might see this flute thing for $150 in the shop, and you may say to yourself, Boy, howdy, I do have 150 bucks to spend on this here flute. I tell you something. Don't do it. It's a trap. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it at all. It'll make your life terrible. Believe me. Anyway, our gotcha is not over here. 200 rupees! Whoa! That's really rare for something in this easy of a location. 
Let's plant another one. Steal it. I wish you could steal in this game. That sounds probably bad, but... Anyway, um, so now we're in springtime. Ooh, 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 we have an opportunity to throw our banana at uh, some enemies here and uh, have fun with them. Okay, so yeah, uh, our banana stuns these weirdos and, <laughs> and then you use a mystery seed and you can talk to them. Three large, two regular. Normally they zap you, three large, two regular. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what this is supposed to look like, but it's not good. It's having fun running around with Rex Sander. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, we can get scent seeds now. Okay, cool. So these are scent seeds. They're smell attract monsters. Uh, they don't really do much for us other than that right now. Um... Spool Swamp and Blano's Gym. Uh, da, 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 da. So we can do a couple of things right now. Um, we go up here, and we can't do anything there. Never mind. Dang Rumpa Clip 15. One second. This has to load up. Okay. Uh, 15 is. Thank you. Thank you for redeeming the points. I'm just trying to remember if I have to go in order to get the flute that I want, if I have to do that now? Or can it be done later? I honestly don't remember. Uh, let's see. Far, far east is a sunken city. It's far. Try to find a ride. Yeah, in fact, we can't do anything with that. But if we go up over here... Oh, uh, this is where you want to plant your gotcha seed. Gotcha, gotcha seeds. Yeah, they sound like gotcha for a reason. Uh, I don't have any. There is, though, a spot over here. Here. One of these areas. There it is. Okay, so this is a, a really good rare location to get great uh, rewards. Can I just avoid you? Thank you. Okay, so now that we're up over here, we can go to the final boss area! Not really. The power of darkness won't let you go any further. If only we had Kingdom Hearts. It's interesting that it just tells us there's a seed there when it's very clear that we've uncovered it already. Gotcha. The, it has to be why it's called Gacha Seeds, because it just sounds like Gacha. I wonder in the original if it was just called Gacha Seeds. Anyway, hey buddy. I'm Ricky! Spool Swamp is my backyard. If you go south from here, then around and back uh, up, there is, uh, there it is. But I'd go with you, but I can't do a thing without my gloves. A guy named Blano took him when I lost a match to him. Oh. My glasses, I can't do anything without my glasses. You're blown away. I was just, uh, I was so touched by them. I was just blown away. You know, I am going to, I'm going to actually just take a moment to see if I need to do the thing that I need to do now to get the, the good flute. Um, one second. Shush. What's the bros in here? Okay, I need to do the thing now. Okay, we're gonna try it. I'm not sure if I screwed it up by already talking to Ricky, 
but we have to go all the way back to the Sabrosian dance studio and then dance our heads off or our feet off, I guess. It's important. Uh, is this a first playthrough and is this linked? Um, I have played this game a million and a half times. Uh, it is not a linked game. Just playing it on the NSO because it's available now. Uh, and it is a favorite game of mine. Actually, can I do anything over here now that I have the... I don't think so, but I'm just going to check. I think you can only do anything here when it's summer, and you have to jump over it anyway. Okay. Okay, uh, so Sabrosia was all the way this way. Eventually, we'll get the ability to warp. But uh, that day is not today. Love playing this game when it came out in 3DS. Yeah. I mean, my, uh, my Let's Plays on my channel um, were the 3DS versions because it made it very easy to do the password thing uh, just going you know, back and forth between the, the games because they didn't have to close. Definitely a, definitely a good version to play. Alright, into Sabrosia we go! We're gonna find out if it's too late to get the flute. I mean, how would you even think about doing this? Like, for, for a prize. Need instructions? Now we're good. Okay. Left, right, left. A, A, right. Right, right, right. Left, right, B. Do, do, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Da, da, da. Bum, bum, bum. You're pretty good. Here's your prize. You got a gasha seed. Let's try it again. You can just keep doing this and they'll just keep giving you the same trash, but... I love how aggressive the message is. I keep doing it to make sure I got everything there might have been. Yeah. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. You'd think, like... Boom, boom. They'd put a piece of heart behind this. Dang it! Press the wrong button. Another gotcha seed. That was the last one, I think, also. My dream is to make a full circuit around this thing. It's very difficult. Pretty good. Are we just getting another gotcha seed? No, we're getting 50 ore chunks. Let's try one more time. It might be just too late, which is unfortunate. I mean, you know, we'd still be getting a second best friend, I guess, but...
dun 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 You're pretty good! Nope! Okay. I shouldn't have talked to Ricky. That was my fault. Oh well. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we didn't get it, which is, which is unfortunate, but, you know, we'll just have to settle for the second best friend. So once you have the shovel though, you can just go around digging, um, there's a lot of ore chunks all over Sabrosia. Like, you are, you are going to be spending hours on this, and if you're playing a linked game, you're going to be spending even more time, because there's a somebody, eventually, that's like, Hey, I want you to have exactly 777 ore chunks for this linked side quest, and you're like, Are you kidding me right now? And they're like, No, I'm not. Do it. And then they spit on you. But we don't have to do that right now. Or ever. For this stream no no spitting no spitting so we're gonna go all the way back to Ricky I forgot they did that yeah at the very least the mind-numbing tedium of trying to dig up 777 ore chunks more chunks um, does lead you to uh, you know song it leads you to song. Also, when you enter a screen that might have maple, just like take a second before you leave it to make sure you don't hear that do 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 because uh, if you accidentally go out of the screen, it cancels it. And that's your problem. Not every screen can have maple on it, but there's a few that are like more or less likely. Also, if there are no enemies when there should be, that's another good indicator. Speaking of, this is a terrible screen together. Bunch of stuff is going to places I cannot go. I'll just take what you drop too. Yeah, you also drop some of your rupees and stuff, which is just, it's just mean. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's right. She gets really happy when she collects more stuff than you, but thankfully it doesn't always happen. As, uh, as you run into her more and more, uh, her arsenal of speed gets better. But yeah, we're gonna plant this guy here and come back later. That's my favorite go-to Gasha location. Uh, we should probably... Where the heck was Bueno's gym? It's like down over here, right? No. I have already forgotten its location. Good job, Dovey. It wasn't this way. It was this way. Hello. I'm the legendary champ Blano. You want something? Then earn in the ring. Will you bet 10 rupees? Uh-huh. <laughs> you learn, listen up, we trade punches till one of us gets knocked out of the ring and no items. If you break the rules once, the next match is for 20 rupees. And no rings, only fists. No cops. You ready? Come on. Yeah. So he's a jerk. Um, can you just play punch out with him, really? Um, it's kind of funny. He also was a mini boss. He wasn't a boss like Facade, but he was a mini boss in Link's Awakening. And now he's just. <laughs> it's just a, a sideshow attraction.
There we go. Remember just no being out if Maple showed up in the area the link has very yeah. Ah, you lost your fist of golden kid. You're the new champ. Yeah, take these. You got Ricky's gloves. Yo, champ, you come to fight? The purse is 30 rupees. No, thank you. <laughs> that was smart. Also, remember to re-equip your items. Because he doesn't. Alright, so let's go. Let's go give these back to Ricky. And see how that will help us. Something I remembered about the game. If you put the game into GBA, you get access to- yeah, a special shop. That's forever locked in the 3DS version. Uh, that is also locked in this version. Alas. That is not Ricky. Yeah, so unfortunately you don't get the cool little special rings. I'm Ricky! Spool Swamp is my backyard! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, those are my gloves! You brought them back? Thank you! If you be Blaine, it must be tough. What's your name? Doby? Cool, I'm Ricky. Nice to meet you. Here, Doby. Take this flute. If you need me, just play the flute. I'll try to find you. So, you get, this is the default uh, flute for um, Oracle of Seasons. I want to say that the default flute in Ages is... is not Ricky, but... I, th I, th I want to say it's Moosh, but I, I don't know. But anyway, um, if you don't talk to Ricky yet, and you go back to the dead studio, you get a different strange flute, which calls a different companion we haven't seen yet. It is Motion Ages. Okay, I thought so, because you meet him first. Um, and if you buy the flute, it's going to be Moosh's in the store. And I made that mistake, and I regretted it, because he, uh, as a young child, I did not know how to use him. But, um... You get to you get to team up with all three of them over the course of the game regardless, but he's gonna be our our permanent friend here, which is neat. If you move towards a hole, I'll just jump right over. I can clear one easy. You cannot clear two holes, but that's okay. I think most people can. You can also kill most of these enemies. I really, really like him. Like he's he's fun. I like I like um Dimitri the best just because he's He's cool, but uh, I would say that Ricky is the most versatile. I believe there's a spot here to dig. Yeah, okay. And I could put anything there, but yeah. He's also just the fastest, I think. I usually default to Moosh. He's good for, like, some things, but eventually, like, I, I feel like... A certain item later in the game makes him completely useless. You could say the same for for Ricky, but um, he can do the, the jumping up cliffs thing that you just can't do. Hello. No, it's so hot. Even sitting by my prized soothing pool doesn't help. I need something creepy to send chills down my spine. Oh my, that doll, it's so ghastly. It gives me chills. Let me have it. Sure. Mm, smart boy, here, take this fine iron pot. The doll is now an iron pot. It looks well seasoned. Neat. I wonder what we're going to do with that one. A cliff like that one is a leave. If you, you know, jump up, you let me do it. So hooray. When you don't have summer, that's the next best thing. Yeah, then again, I guess summer is usually the way to get up those cliffs. Uh, none of your animal friends can get through these, like, things, and I guess that's the purpose. I just want to listen to the music here for a second. Anyway, we got a PlayStation, uh, button scheme over here. I love the music in this game. And our friend is gone. Uh, normally, if you got any of the other flutes, uh, Ricky would stay around until you're done with the dungeon. But since we have his flute, and we could just call him whenever, um, he he leaves when we go too far away. Oh wow, we're already getting these. Neat. Uh, these are Pegasus seeds. 
it's uh, a replacement for the Pegasus boots, which is neat. Also kind of annoying, but neat. I think this is too high for him to jump. Yeah, we need to make it actually summer. Circle, triangle, square, cross. The Pegasus seeds are like the one of the most important things in this game because otherwise you will lose your mind with how slow you walk. Some of the backtracking you have to do. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to go into this house and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Hello. You want in the swamp? Well, actually, I lost the key to open the floodgates. This? This key? Oh, that's where I left it. I should open the floodgates. You can get the keyhole from the puddle outside. Idiot. I mean, hi, sir. How are you doing today? You're gonna head out. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much for stopping by and for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. I do miss the Pegasus boosts from Link's Awakening. Uh, yeah, those were fun. Also, in the Link's Awakening remake, the little tippy tap that the sound that they make is the best thing ever. Uh, but yeah, we do need the Pegasus seeds for here because otherwise the bridge disappears. And thankfully, also, the nice thing about this versus the Pegasus boots is that the seeds last after you take it out of your inventory. So like, you can actually do other stuff while you're running. Okay, one of these guys is gonna jump at me, I know it. Go away! Do -do 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 -do. How does this guy get to the floodgates and live? Maybe that's why they're closed. Hey, bud. Just as I, Sakura, predicted, the time has come when a new power of seasons is needed. This means you must find a doorway to the Sabrosian land and go to the Temple of Seasons. Okay. Hey, buddy. Greetings! Let me share my wisdom! South of the floodgates is a strange vortex! Buy something! No! Then be gone! Get out, get out of here. Another Gasha Seed location! There's a lot of them. Surprise. Well... Open the gates! Probably actually sleepy. Good night, Knopio. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do -do -do. Excuse me. Now that the gates are open, can we jump down over here? I don't remember. We can! Hooray! Alright. Friend, buddy, you better not jump from where I think you are coming. Okay, good. Sometimes he just, like, is is up on the cliff or something, and you're like, Sir, how does that help me? Uh, but anyway, there's Dungeon 3, but we can't get to it. No, thank you. I want to ask you all, I don't know if you could hear that. I want to ask you all, what did I say that my home assistant thought I was asking for a recipe of banana banana bread? What in any of the last minute of talking did I say that asked was was saying hello assistant name and then asking about banana bread i am my flabber is gasted 
Yeah, also they it said banana banana bread, which I guess is like double banana bread. Which is just that's just a lot of banana right there. Ooh. I don't know. Come on, we should be able to jump up here. There we go, buddy. See like that, you only can jump up with Ricky. And make sure make sure you get rid of those before you try jumping over it. Um, nope. And another Kasha! Oh, right. Yeah, so you have, like, these jerks over here that are in covered, <laughs> like, leaf-covered areas. Um, and I probably should try not to die. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> I've died a lot, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the, if you stand on the areas that have the, the leaves for too long, then you'll fall through. You'll fall through. The worst part is there was nothing for me to do there. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't do, do anything with that area. Because it's all water! Also, I, I like as well that Ricky can jump and punch at the same time. It's like a fighting game character. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. There we go. Uh, roll dice if you have one. If not, maybe a hundred. Well, I guess I'll talk to my assistant this time. Uh, what's my... What's the max number we got over here of the, of the thingies? Hey Google, pick a number between a one and 111. Thirty-five. Dang around the cliff number thirty-five is. Say it, or I'll cast my all the guys you date will be single fathers curse. <laughs> thank you, Himiko. And thank you for uh Redeeming the points. Anyway, we're back in Sabrosia. More chunks. Digging things up. And we're gonna see where the heck we are. Not on the other side here. <laughs> well then. I love that the trees here look like the ones from the dark world in Link to the Past. Hey guys, how you doing? Rosa John the Pop Star? No, just regular Rosa. You can find Star Shaped Ore in the Sand. Ah. This beach is gonna become your nemesis. Because this is where you go to dig everything, all up, everything you need. You should play Dang It Grandpa. It's one of my favorite game series of all time. Also, play, play um, Master Detective Archives Rain Code, which just came out for the Switch. It's made by the same guy, and it just came out. And it's good, and I just finished it. I think it's worth trying if you like visual novel slash mystery type games. Do do do. Like Zero Escape, which is made by a friend of the director because they're all the same team. Hello, Rose John. My favorite ribbon floated out to sea. Oh no. We gotta get a ribbon for the pop idol because she has a key. How annoying is it gonna get to do this? 
Just digging all day and singing Well, I actually think that the star or is in a specific spot, but I don't remember where So I'm gonna dig in a spiral And gonna continue doing that until everyone leaves They will Finally Have enough and we'll turn off the stream Pretty sure it's somewhere around here Don't dig towards the ocean or it will disappear Don't know if this is Blood or Lava or something else, but I don't know what to know. Hey, it's the star-shaped door We did we found it hooray Let's go find what to do with this The subrosium heart it Looks like a big subrosium person. Yay Okay, this is actually kind of funny. It's just upside down because they have no idea what these are so they're just like whatever Rare peach stone, I'll trade for 20 ore chunks and 10 ember seeds. Sure. It's like a really weird currency system, but we got four pieces of heart. Think Link became a dwarf. Exactly. Probably do DR first. I have the trilogy on Steam Deck. I don't bring it with me all the time because it's bulky. I hear that, and I highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, one second. Cute ribbon is first star shaped door, though. You can also buy some other junk here, but once you leave and come back, you should have a few other things to get. Yay! This. A big bomb bag! I'll trade for 10 bombs and 50 ore chunks. Sure. Pick up this red bomb. And it explodes on your head, and somehow you can carry more bombs. Seed ring is for 30 ore chunks, and I think that one just keeps replenishing over and over. So if you want to get rings... And Gashin uh, seeds, which are 40 ore chunks and 20 cent seeds. Wow. Eventually, if you want to like do completionist runs of this game and just... Oh, that's more expensive now. Does it end eventually? I thought it doesn't, but I could be wrong. 50 ore chunks. It does. Okay, I think it eventually goes to 100 or something. We can't pay for this one, but was it going to be 60? 70. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh ho, oh, people are buying it. I guess I'll raise the price. <laughs> I don't remember the point I was making before this, but um, you can usually find like red or blue ore chunks when wherever. The beach is the best place in general to find it, and there's a few places where you can find better ore chunks, but the beach, as from what my experience, just has the the most likelihood of finding ore. Anyway, let's give Rosa this. What a cute ribbon, is it for me? Yep. Wow, like, thank you. Since you're so nice, I'll go on a date with you. Let's look in that temple. I'm gonna look in the temple with Rosa. Wink, wink. Rosa's mystical necklace opens locked doors. Celebrities get the best toys. Beaches are treasure troves. Yeah, she just kind of follows you around. It's great. You can find star-shaped ore. Um, so her key opens a whole load of stuff, and we're gonna try to find everywhere that's actually locked, because, like this, which is a passageway between the two areas we visited so far, uh, but I think there might be some other locked areas. Uh, also, if you miss out on anything, you could just come find her later, and she's like, okay, I'll go on another date with you, sure, whatever. And you're like, yay. Uh, can't go there. 
Ba. And I think if you go in the portal, she's just like, I'm not going back to the surface with you. You got a key. For some reason, that music just reminds me of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like the original one. And if you want to view paradise, kind of like a similar type of thing. Not really, but just in my head. If you dig up the ground, you hear you can find ore chunks. There's someone around here that we can give the pot to. It's probably that person down there. No, that's the... This is the smithy. Yeah, we don't need the smithy. I think it's over there, but we can't access that area yet. I didn't know that Rosa John lives in this world, right? It's crazy. This is where she is uh, when, when she's not summoned onto the stream, I guess. This is what I assume, anyway. And she's just incognito, so nobody can, uh, you know, no one bothers her. That's why she has the, the robe on. But if you recall from the last time we were at the temple, uh, one of the areas was also locked by a key. Why it was, and why Rose's key specifically can unlock it when it was something from the surface, is a question that I don't have an answer to. Sometimes you just shouldn't think too hard about these things. That's all I shovels. <laughs> it's kind of neat that the first season you get is winter and then uh, autumn is the next one. I think this is autumn, or is, no, this is summer. Summer is the second one. What am I talking about? Autumn's like the last one that you get, I think. It's just interesting the, um, uh, da, 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 the order. There we go. That's the word. It's supposed to be referenced to the skeleton key. Uh, you know what? That's, that's a good point. Excuse me, considering this game is loaded with Zelda 1 references. You have come, adorable hero. I am the spirit of summer. I am in summer, vines grow tall and creeks dry up. Remember that. Ancient Hyrulean legends say that the hero destined to overthrow evil has a Dorito on his left hand. Perhaps you are this hero. Now, I grant you the power of the spirit of summer. Throughout the seasons has been blessed with a summer day. Climb atop a stump to call forth summer. All right. I thought these rocks didn't come back. How wrong I was. That's why I went to pick them all up. Boom. We can technically leave by the other portal that we opened here and just explore a little, but I think we should just try to do the next dungeon before stream time is over in a half hour. So I can show you all my least favorite boss in the game! Hooray! That's the best part of any stream, showing people the part that you don't like. <laughs> Also, we have 71 ore chunks, which means we can buy another gosh dang ring. I'm buying this for my girlfriend here. This ring's for you, Rosa. I can't. It's not. It's not working. Oh, now it's just an ember seed. Okay, we bought all of his rings. I don't know if it's unlimited gasha seeds, though. Do Anyway, let's get out of here. Bye! 
That's how you end any date. You just run right into a magic portal and, you know, hope for the best, I guess. Okay, now let's not die here. Let's not die here. Uh... Oh, can you go this way maybe, question mark? Almost. No. Okay, we can't go that way either. Good. Uh, I recall... Haha. Oh. Haha. -ha. Can't hit what you can't see. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, Zelda 1 Remake was supposed to hit the Game Boy Color, Nintendo Capcom was like, let's make triplets slash twins instead. It's interesting that they never ended up making the Zelda 1 Remake. Right? Quite, that They didn't do No, they didn't do something like that. You would think with like... I don't know, like Mario... Super Mario Bros. 1 got a... Like a facelift on the Super Nintendo with Mario All-Stars. And, you know, they kind of, you know, returned to that concept a lot. But Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 kind of just net were, were left on the NES. Metroid got remakes. Okay, well, we're gonna use our bonk stick and set the uh, seasons. Uh, now the seasons go in order, so in order to get that, you have to cycle through till you get the correct one. But once you do, you can get the vines. Level three, Poison Moth Slayer. Surprising given the short lifespan of the Game Boy Color makes sense. I guess so. Yeah, the Game Boy Color was like a gimmick. Which is kind of sad. Oh, the bonk stick doesn't work on these guys. I actually have to use my shield? That's sad. Yeah, the, the Game Boy Color was just like a... <laughs> we need more time to f flesh out the life of the Game Boy. What do we do? Haha. -ha. But considering, like some of the absolutely amazing games that we got for the Game Boy Color. Like, it, they didn't, like, you know, do it halfway. Like, we got these games, we got Gold and Silver, which I guess technically were Game Boy games that worked better on Game Boy Color. Uh, we got Warrior Land 2 and 3, so, like, there's some good stuff. I know I named six games, <laughs> but I have a lot of Game Boy Color games. Okay. I wonder if you can guess which item we're going to be getting in this dungeon eventually. That's right, the level 2 shield. No. Boom, boom. Uh, you guys again, get out of here. Now you're at the beginning of the dungeon this time. Weirdos, weirdos! Oh, right. We need to, um... We need to... Pushy-push. Yeah, don't pick them up, because then you'll destroy them. We just gotta... Push. Nice thing is, I think in Link's Awakening, you needed to have the... The glove on in order to be able to push them, but here it's just like, yeah, whatever. Lifting and pushing are two separate actions, it's okay. Uh, I know, we can do something about that. We have speed! No! <laughs> I like doing things like that. Sometimes it's fun to be stupid. <laughs> I forgot you could get crushed! Uh, 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 that's cute. Okay. Let's not just hug the wall this time. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, all the song Kirby Tilt and Tumble. I mean, we did Kirby Tilt and Tumble on stream, and we saw just how fun that could be. And by fun, I mean I wanted to pull my hair out. But it was a cool concept, and it was fun for, like, the first few worlds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did, I did like that. There was a Lufia game that was really fun. Um... I think you can throw pots at these guys also kill them, yeah. Bombs, music, and pot. That's how you kill a pole's voice. Do, 
Oh, right, you have to... Symmetry, again. Symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. I was like, how am I gonna do this? Oh, okay. I got this, didn't screw it up. I don't remember Flink's Awakening and puzzles where you have to push the pot, so I definitely remember annoying text box. Yeah. Yeah, I got the text box. That and when you ran into like the thing, the, 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 what a strange crystal. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle when you had the things that you needed to Pegasus boot through. Or the ice, uh, when you did, when you accidentally touched ice and it's just like, brrrr. <laughs> So when you have a floor like this, it means you can fall through. I didn't do that on purpose, but I guess we'll show <laughs> we'll show what happens. Can you go away? I hate the randomness of the the P hats movement. Got thirty rupees. That's nice. This is the switch. You had a constant backlight. And didn't have to trade off with backwards controls. Yeah. Man, that backlight. I, I had a uh, uh, shark light or snake light or worm light, whatever it was called. No, Game Shark. It was a worm light for my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Oh my god. And it kind of worked, but also it just drained the batteries something fierce. Why am I doing this? I have my bonking stick. You know what's great? You actually use this as a bonking stick at some point in the game. Like, it's not just me being stupid. I don't like this room. That thing is going to kill me. I know it is. Can you, can you come around here? Come here. No, come back, I'm gonna kill you. Remember those, remember they were murdering your battery. I have different kinds because they kept breaking worm light and a Lego worm light, that's cool. Oh no, there's two of them. him to come back again. We're, we got this. No, oh, I was looking away. Okay. Can I get this without dying? Let's see. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. Oh my god, we actually made it through and we got the rocks feather. Level 1. So this is one of the major differences between Seasons and Ages. Seasons has a level 1 Rocks Feather. <laughs> ages just has a Rocks Feather. You guys never give hearts, no. But now we can jump! I love what a change having the jump button is, aside from the fact that I just killed myself. I love what a change the jump button was to these games when they added it to, um... To, uh... uh Link's Awakening. Like, actually crazy what you could do with the puzzles. Like, you know, in the 3D Zeldas, like, you couldn't jump in up until... Uh, you could kind of jump in Zelda 2, but that game doesn't count. Um, but you couldn't jump until, like, Ocarina of Time, when you could, like, go up to the edge of a, you know, a cliff and, <laughs> and jump off. But, um, like here... Here you can just do sick flips. It's great. You get yourself killed in new and intri interesting ways. Wee! That guy's stuck over there. It's kind of funny. And you just had to copy paste the rock for their embrace. But this time the rules are reversed. I do like that. That each game had a bunch of unique items 
you know, whether it's items that could be upgraded in one version but not the other, or just entirely new items, like the cane or the seed shooter versus the slingshot. Like, you know, aside from the story being different, it actually made the games feel like they were their own adventures, as opposed to like a golden Pokemon Gold and Silver, which is the exact same game, but with uh, you know, different Pokemon to find. I appreciated that a lot, that they were actually two different games. I feel like people didn't realize that at the time, though. Oh, I wanted to do that. Shoot. Like, people people at the time were like, why should I buy both of these? Because they came at the same time. It's like Pokemon. It was like, no. We actually got two Zelda games at once. We were lucky people. Or the Magnetic Glove, yeah. One of the most <laughs> useless items, but really fun. Really, really fun. The Rock's Cape, though, is like the best. I play this game because I like getting the Rock's Cape. So here we have to try not to um, walk right onto a spiky tile while we're pushing all these things. Okay, you got another... got whiz robes in this room? No. Spins on existing with the hook switch. We're having a... Oh man, the hook switch, that's right. Or, um, or ages having the, um, like not even like item items, but ages having the, uh, the mermaid, uh, thing instead of the flippers or, you know, as an upgrade to the flippers. That definitely wasn't in, uh, ow. I really like banging my head on that. That definitely wasn't in the, uh, original of this game. The mermaid thing was kind of annoying to use when you, like, didn't want to go underwater because you still had to, you know, back and forth, but it was very fast. Mermaid tail. Right, right, right. It's cool stuff. I, I appreciate, like, that as well. And, you know, just the, the mechanic of the game, you know, being, you know, <laughs> um, time travel and versus seasonal travels it's 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 a uh, pokemon uh diamond versus pearl it's space versus time even though seasons are also time related i will not be accepting uh criticism at this time thank you but yeah what i'm trying to say is i'm very much enjoyed these games <laughs> and i'm really really happy that the nso is letting more people have access to them when before it was, you know, the 3DS eShop. <laughs> and, um, whoop. Whoop. Or just having the cartridge. And one day, one day we'll get a remake of these. It's time versus time. Time after time. Time after time. And now we get to hear this sound for the rest of the stream because I'm really bad at keeping my health get out of here get out of here get out of here I'm really glad that they eventually run out of you know the uh, the enemies there so I think I would go crazy if uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet I would go crazy if I had to hear that it's like, I'm back up over here, but this doesn't help me at all, and I, I just remembered why it does help me. Did I go up here yet? I did. Okay. So you have this button here. You can just jump over it now. <laughs> Which, I don't know why I find that so funny, but I find it very funny. Like, you just avoid the trap. And I know that's the point, but like, you just avoid it. Like, all these things were like, I'm gonna kill you, haha, <laughs> and you're like, nah. Whatever. Miss the olden days of the eShop, but at least they're putting in the effort to keep access to these classic games high. Yeah. 
I appreciate the, the NSO giving us access here, even if it's expensive as heck. And there's not enough games yet. <laughs> is this the squids? Oh, it totally is. Wow. Okay, these guys are really annoying. Um, I believe you lift them up. Also, they somehow are in the... There we go. Somehow in, like, really, really... Nothing water. No. Probably shouldn't get myself killed by these guys. You know. I say as I'm getting myself killed by these guys. Don't jump on me. Ah! I'll take my time. I'll take my time. There we go. Heal me, thank you. And there should be, there it is, a staircase. I miss the shop having music too. Do, 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 do. No, it's me shop. Um, that me, me shop, me, me maker, whatever. Do 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 do. You know. Do, 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 do. We're missing a lot of chests from this dungeon. Uh, which way are you coming this way? <laughs> okay. Boom. Hey. And there's the boss key. Hooray. Oh, we just fell down here, over here. Okay, so we gotta go in a circle. So we're back at the start, but that means that we should... Also, like, the poison moth layer here is kind of like... The... the you're, you're meant to, like, stack the, the pictures on top of each other. It, it looks like it's a, a, like a little bug face. Uh, so we go up here now, right? Right. I don't remember going through that middle room. I'm a little confused. Did we just do it from here? Because this is the boss room. I Did I just skip part of the dungeon? I skipped part of the dungeon. Like, I I wasn't- I didn't go there, right? Well, you automatically jump on that. Can I go down there? Oh, I can jump down over here. Oh! No, I didn't skip that. I just didn't pay attention! <laughs> uh... Good, Dovey. Right, we were here and I just didn't go up from this room. Ah, beautiful. I I really I just amaze myself sometimes, you know? It's important to be able to constantly impress and amaze yourself with the things that you do. Should be just a junk. Yeah. Ten bombs. I wonder what it wants us to do with this in this conveniently strange shaped semicircle. And the inaccessible room above it on the map. Gasp! What is it? It's the dungeon map! Oh good, we got the dungeon map literally at the last possible moment. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, you've done it. My god, you've done it. Ten out of ten out of ten effort right there. Um No, we can just go this way. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. Wink. 
Okay. Right. It's boss time. You guys want to see me, everyone. like... No! No, not another raid! I really hope this only plays once. Banga! A well-seasoned raid! Hello, hello! How are you doing? Let's let's get the, the raid thing up so I can... Right. All aboard, everyone. It's All playing aboard. twice again! No! I need to fix that! <laughs> No, it shouldn't be doing this! I fixed it! I fixed it! <laughs> I promise, I swear, I swear I fixed notifications. Lengthy stream of Big Sky Trooper. Nice, nice. I'm gonna take a drink while we watch this. Second read of the night. Thank you all so much. So I don't know how well it's edited in the raid video there, but those are two separate cutscenes that have like random junk in between them. And trying to stitch that together was really annoying. Anyway, Banga, thank you for the raid. Sorry about your face there. Hello, hello, hello. We, you done it. We're playing Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. While we wait for this guy to kill us. I hate this thing. Okay, I'm gonna pause again because it's about to kill us. Uh, let's see. Bonga, Cole, Bragg, Moogle Master. Hello. Thank you all so much for stopping by. And, uh, you get to watch me die to this thing. I literally, like, I despise this boss. The Poison Moth, whatever it's called. I don't even know its name. I just know that I hate it. And it shoots babies at you. And it has like a single Kirby type eye there and we're dead. And if you fall, then you start over. Or if you, you do that, you start over. I hate I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Mothula, there we go. Grotus, hello, hello. Pretty sure it's actually my least favorite boss in this game. I dread this dungeon for that. Grotus, thank you for the follow as well. Also, like, st starting with three three hearts isn't... Two and a half hearts isn't a great thing either. No. Okay. See, like, the little babies can drop stuff. So there's that but then they just all fall into the hole. And sometimes Mothiola decides to land on your platform here, and then he just goes nuts, and then you fall. And uh, you get to start over. But yeah, it's like a giant Kirby boss eye there. It's like maybe, oh, maybe it's not a good idea to, to, to be in the middle area, but that's where it goes. So otherwise, I think it'll just fly into you, no? Die, die, die! No! <sighs> uh. Yes, release your babies! Please don't. Okay. <laughs> Gosh dang it. This is just like, um. Uh, what's it called? 
what's the stupid boss called? In, uh... Moldorm. Moldorm. The big, big old Moldorm. Why can't I jump over it? <laughs> the Moldorm that knocks you off from, like, you know, Link's Awakening or Link to the Past or whatever. Hate those. Hate those guys a lot. But... Moldorm is kind of like the, the wispy woods of Zelda, it just keeps showing up. But this guy, this guy's worse, because he shoots at you. He's not a little bouncy little tub of bounce. He shoots at you. Okay, we, are, we have five hearts going in this time, we got this. I've seen people beat this, like, really, really fast, and I just, I don't understand. I actually oop, don't understand how they do it. Let's get some of these. Like, maybe, may, maybe the strategy is being careful, but why would I do that when I could just attack him a lot? Aha, I was right. Okay. We did it. We did it, though. At least Moldorm is easier than Link Between Worlds. Yeah. I appreciate that. Anyway, it's our third thingamahoozit. You got the bright sun and essence of nature. Young shoots grow quickly under the warm rays of the bright sun. Reminds me of a boss in tears, but that's all I will say. Boss in tears. Oh, yes, I understand now. <laughs> I had to run some dial-up noises. Oh, thank you, Dovey. I too feel the bright sun. I dreamt of the waterfall on the mountain north of Sunken City. Perhaps the next essence is near there. <sighs> yeah, so normally here, Riku would be like, You did it? That's awesome. I'll see you later. And you're like, okay, bye. But um, we own him, so he can't run away from us. Everyone. Jimmy, I swear oh to God. God. You don't even stream. Jimmy, you don't. Sh you did that just to run the goddamn alert. Don't make me block you. I, I hate you. <laughs> anyway, this thing is like, you're my best customer. Take this special gift, and then you have to dig it up. Why Vasu put... I'm pretty sure I'm his only customer. Why he put a thing over there? I don't know. I hate you. Zaldin, hello. There's a set of more for hosing as a way around it. Yeah. Zaldin, did you come in just for that? Like, did... Is this is this a is this a setup? <laughs> oh, hello. We got maple time. Ooh. Okay, she's going to run right for that. You again. Well, we're going to get this. Uh so that's a potion that uh revives you when you die, which is awesome. So sometimes she just drops that. I didn't even think it was going to show up. He just did. I was trying to do it fast enough. I hate you. <laughs> um, so now that we have the power of summer, um, we can uh, make vines over here if we really want to. We don't need to, though. Follow Jimmy on Twitch because he did a stream a while ago. I joined as soon as I got the notification and came with the raid. Right. 
So I wasn't paying attention. Did it only play once? I was I was too busy being angry at Jimmy. Did it only play once? So our, our friend, the Gasha Seed, is a ring yeah. is, uh, is, is complete over there, so now we can plant a new one. That was too... I think so? Why that time? Why the one time that we didn't get a real raid, it worked normally? This just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Okay, we still can't go across there. So, before the end of the stream, the other two times was a party of two rating me as a party of one. Or two or more, anyway. I don't know why that would make a difference. I don't have it set up to make a difference. Um, also, if you have Ricky, then this area becomes like your, uh, like all grassy and stuff. It's probably the easiest one to get around, but I like the Mish one better. Does it go based on viewer? It shouldn't. I don't have different, like, alert types for, like, more or less viewers. Um, okay, so we could go to the sunken city now, but the stream is going to be wrapping up soon because I'm tired and I want to eat and it's the end of stream time anyway. Um, but I want to go back to town and just appraise some of my rings while we're here. Maybe look around some of the other areas here as well. You know, as you do. Get out our bonk stick some stuff. So with summer, when I met you in the summer, uh, all the water is dried up down over here so you can actually do stuff. Like bomb this wall. <laughs> I can't get that though because it's covered in water but it's there. You need to have fall for that, or moosh. Not major moosh. Just, just moosh. Uh, let's see... I don't think summer affects any of the other stuff around here. Uh, no, there's a thingy there. Also, my... Gasha plant is... Gasha not... Another ring! I don't think that the that the rarity of the of the plant affects the rarity of the rings you get. I think it's just a, a set bunch of rings. Are you gonna hurt me? If you want true power, then slay the four golden beasts that roam the land. Then I shall grant my power to you. So far, you've slain zero. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't realize that was a thing in this version. I thought that was a linked game only thing also. Okay. Uh, where do I want to go? You know, let's see what this shop has now that the flute shouldn't be there. Just hearts, okay. Let's check out the Maku tree also. I keep almost saying Mako tree like Yamako energy, but it that's not that's not what it is. Hooray! What are you doing talking to me if you've only slain zero? Now die! <laughs> Grumpy old man. I 
I like when you have like games with this with sprites where like the movement is basically just reversing their their picture. Like that's what it is with this, with with Faror standing there. Him is a little bit more, but like I just found it very cute. We have a lot of stuff to appraise. This is the green holy ring, no damage from electricity. That's pretty neat. I never use it, but it's neat. This is a blue luck ring. We already have our first duplicate. Good job. <laughs> we have our second duplicate. Come on, game. Uh, this is the red luck ring. Half damage from spiked floors. This is the toss ring. Throwing distance up. That's actually a pretty neat ring. Uh, this one is the Gasha Ring. We grow as great Gasha trees. It's actually really good for trying to get the, um, uh, the, what's it called? The piece of heart. Um, but I think, I think we're going to end off the stream over here. A good uh, time in between. We're gonna check on uh, our child Bluey over here. Bluey has gotten better. Thank you. Hooray! Good job. We did it. And yeah, that's that's about it. Let's let's see who's streaming right now. Hey, boy. Sorry. Maybe we'll raid someone. Thank you all for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate all y'all very, very much. Uh, where is where is that? No. No, nobody. I guess we'll raid, uh, we'll raid, let's, let's raid Tom. None of, none of the usual suspects are online, so we're gonna raid Tom Fox. He's playing some sort of Pokemon Emerald something or another. Tom! What's our raid message going to be? <laughs> I don't... I kind of want to say it's... It's Gasha D's Nuts. But I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh right, we did get the banana, banana bread. Oracle of Peppa. I no, no, Jimmy. You know what? The banana banana bread was good. I, we're gonna go with that. Google trying to teach me how to make banana banana bread. Okay, so we're gonna be raiding with banana banana bread. Thank you all so much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you, um, everyone from the two raids technically three not really <laughs> i'm not counting that last one the two raids we got um thank you for you know stopping by sticking around enjoying the game with me it was a good time and i appreciate you all and um next week <laughs> Shut up. yes you are next week um we're probably going to be playing more of the pokemon infinite fusion next month so uh, i'll see you then How many? How how many? 
Banana, banana bread. Dovey, thank yeah. you for the raid! I'm losing my mind!